The Landover Mall was built by Sonny Abramson and Ted Lerner of Lerner Enterprises and opened in 1972. Located in Landover, Maryland, directly across from the FedEx field off Maryland's 202 and Interstates 95 and 495. The main reason for the success of Landover Mall was the fact that there was absolutely no other enclosed shopping mall closer to Southern Maryland. Although Prince George's Plaza, the very first shopping mall in the United States, was located about 10 miles away, by the time Landover Mall opened, PG Plaza, as it was known, was considered tiny and very outdated and was still an open air mall. While there were a few malls further south on the Beltway towards the Woodrow Wilson Bridge, again, they were small and aging and not enclosed, and certainly not as hip in design as the Landover. Until the big building boom in Charles County in the 1980s, if you lived down the Route 301 corridor and you wanted to go to the shopping mall, Landover was the only place you could make it to without spending an hour or two in the car. In its prime, Landover Mall had three local department store anchors, Hext, Garfinkel's, Woodward and Lothrop, Woody's, and two national chains, Sears and F.W. Woolworth Company. It was the first mall in the region to have four anchors until Fair Oaks Mall opened in 1980. There was a six-screen movie theater in the basement, which had its own escalators, but it closed in 1991. The gas crisis probably boosted Landover's mall business, as a lot of people couldn't get the gas to go anywhere. The fact that Sears had a gas station attached to it, off with a very long line of cars waiting to get to the pumps, was also a draw. The mall had three fountains, one adjacent to Hex, Sears, and in the center court. The main fountain in the mall contained three circular platforms, each representing a loop within the Capitol Beltway interchange at Landover Road. During the holiday season, the center ring fountain would shut off and would be replaced with annual secular holiday displays, which featured gingerbread houses, fairies, candy canes, snowmen, reindeer, sleigh rides, doves, and a cupcake boat ride but no Santa or explicit references to Christmas. Some people may recount that there were two orange Juliuses at the Landover Mall. Another interesting tidbit is that Landover Mall had the last surviving Hot Shots Junior restaurant. Most people who grew up in the DC area in the 1950s and 60s spent some time at Hot Shops. They had a great chain of drive-ins and eventually opened up a McDonald's-like chain of burger stands with a junior moniker. The parent company had merged with Roy Rogers Roast Beef Sandwich Restaurants and there was already a Roy Rogers at the other end of the mall. They didn't want to have two of the same restaurant in the same mall, so they left that Hot Shops Junior in place and shipped all the remaining logo emblazoned stuff to them. Another customer's memory was the Disco Rubik's Cube. This illuminated oddity was a 25 foot plus cube which was suspended from the ceiling in the main mall area in front of Sears and Lane Bryant. In 1990, Garfinkel's filed for bankruptcy and went out of business. The former Garfinkel's anchor store was never replaced. Five years later, Woody's went out of business. J.C. Penney's moved into the former Woody's location but found business unprofitable. The store was converted into a J.C. Penney outlet location in the fall of 1998 and was closed altogether in early 2001. In early 2002, Hex closed after opening a new store at the Bowie Town Center in nearby Bowie, Maryland. After the closure of the main anchors to the mall, Ted Lerner decided to shut the mall down completely. The mall doors were sealed shut with cinder blocks, although the Sears store remained open. Demolition began in 2006 and was completed in early 2007. The entire mall was demolished and its debris was recycled. 
Sears was the only store that remained open after the mall's closure because it owned the land under the building. However, its former entrances to the mall were sealed shut on both levels. Sears subsequently sold the land underneath the store to Lerner. In January 2014, Sears announced that it would not renew its lease with Lerner and closed its store in March of 2014. Today, the area is still being considered for future projects. Thanks for watching.